<laughs> Just been out for a nice ride with Brian Northfield on his Rocket Free. Had some fish and chips. Been a lovely day. And today I was going to uh, cover the subject that's been covered by loads of motor vloggers. I think every motor vlogger has covered the subject. I haven't yet, so I'm a little bit late for the party. But uh, I'm going to stick my two penneth in. On the subject of, am I vlogging a dead horse? Is motor vlogging dead? And when I say motor vlogging, I mean as in riding along on your bike, telling stories, or giving people updates on what you've been doing and all that sort of stuff. Um, so that sort of motor vlogging, is that dead? Well, I don't think it's dead dead. It's, um, I believe, personally, it's in its peak. And it's now sort of leveled out, you know. There's so many people doing it on YouTube that uh, you're sport for choice, I need to watch. Some are better than others, most are better than me, I've got to say, but uh, it's not dead dead. I would say people still watch, I mean people still watch my videos, but it depends on the subject. You know, if it's uh, a motorcycle related subject, as in uh, talking about motorcycle laws or anything like that, you know, what first 125 to buy and stuff like that, then they, they get lots of views because uh, there's a broad spectrum of people who want to watch it. But um, the telling stories and, and talking nonsense like I do probably is. not It's not dead. But uh, people have other interests. <laughs> Motorcyclists especially. They, they're not that keen on watching nonsense videos anymore like this. They would sooner watch, and I don't blame them because I like watching them, they would sooner watch motorcycle reviews. And they are the channels that are really taking off and have been for the last couple of years. Uh, you've only got to look at Mr. Dan Flyer. His channel is, is more or less dedicated to um, motorcycle reviews. He does other things as well. He does tours and uh, gear reviews, but it's, it's all around sort of review sort of stuff rather than actually vlogging and saying what he's been doing and that sort of stuff. So they're very popular channels and they get thousands of views on every video they put up. And they get loads of subscribers because they're very popular. It's a very popular thing. Motorcyclists want to know about motorbikes, don't they? You know. We all like to know what the latest uh, bike is and what it's like to ride and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, they're going to be popular channels. Obviously the other popular channels. Um, a lot of people doing wheelies. And you know, for younger for younger viewers, let's say even maybe kids. <coughs> so they're popular for them. And the riding through London ones, you know, like RJ, he's never gonna be unpopular because of his riding style. So um, you know. He's got other things that interest people nowadays, other than just, list, oh, just listening to one person ramble on about what sort of day they've had or what went wrong with their insurance when they were buying it and all that sort of stuff, you know? <coughs> so yeah, that's, that's uh, what I think of it. There are more interesting things to watch, and people will, they watch the interesting things. So, motor vlogging, as in the type that I do, isn't dead, but it's dying out, and we all struggle to get views now. Just got to say bye to Phil. <coughs> Cheers, mate. And off he goes on his rocket free. Yes, yeah, so I say. Uh, the type of motor vlogging I do isn't dead, but it's it's very slow nowadays, you know. You struggle to get views, and people will say, oh, it's because uh, views are related to subscribers. I don't agree with that entirely. I mean, I've got 
800 and something, 860, something like that. Might be more, I don't know. <laughs> um, so if I put a video up, if you're saying it's related to subscribers, I would expect to get at least a quarter of those subscribers watching my video, wouldn't I? And I don't. I'm lucky if I get 100. Or 100 and something views on each video, say 140, something like that. And, um, you know, to say it's related to subscribers is uh, a bit of a nonsense. Obviously it's nice to have subscribers, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I love all my subscribers. But um, some people subscribe to channels because of one video. You know, they've watched one video and it struck a chord with them or, you know, they really enjoyed it and they thought, oh, I'm going to subscribe to that bloke. It's good. But then they never watch anything else that you do. So um, it's not, not necessarily tied to the number of subscribers. So that's, that's what I feel anyway, you know. So if anyone says motor vlog is dead, it's not dead. But if somebody, let's say somebody is thinking of starting a motor vlogging channel, don't be put off by that. If you, you know, if you're going to enjoy running a channel and talking and making videos, then you do it. Don't worry about the views. Don't worry about the subscribers. Uh, well, I do, but yes, that's wrong. I shouldn't have said that. Do worry about the subscribers because they're important people but don't worry if you only get a few you know because uh, it's not the be all and end all if you want to be really really popular then you've got to be a very very interesting person unlike me and you've got some fantastic subjects to talk about and uh, you might do alright but if you really want to get big on YouTube then either you've got to have a contact in a motorcycle dealership somewhere that will lend you bikes to take out and review on a regular basis So that's one way of getting big. Or you gotta go around doing wheelies through all the London traffic, shouting at people, abuse as you go, and then you'll get millions of subscribers and millions of views, because that's that's the popular thing at the moment. That's my take on it. Let me know, let me know what you think. And uh, I'll catch you next time I'm out on a lovely sunny day like today. But for now from me, it's ta-da. Bye-bye now.